Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is one of my favourite videos to do because it's actually talking about my favourites. So if you want to see what I've been loving for the last month then keep watching. love making these videos and I love watching them as well I feel like I want people to do them more like I follow loads of people and they don't do them very often but I just love getting loads of like little suggestions and ideas of people floats my boat I've got a very mixed bag today so there's some like well there are some sweeties there is a book there's makeup beauty stuff so I'm just gonna get right into it and I think one of my biggest favorites I've had this for a while but still every single time I use it or share it if I put it on Instagram people will ask me or if I'm out and about and I'm getting a coffee someone will tap me on the shoulder and go excuse me where's your cup from or like the barista will tell me that it's a really cute one and it's this and this is a corksicle cup um it's got a little mechanism on the top so you can close it and open it and drink as you please um the lid just pops off i used it this morning so you'll have to excuse the fact that it's uh, a little bit milky and coffee -y, but i love it i think i got it from the anthropology website because this is a rifle paper company um design but there are loads of different like colors that you can get and designs that you can get but what i really love about it for starters it's very pretty which is nice because some of these mugs are ugly let's be honest they are and also it keeps things at a really good temperature i find some of them are rubbish at keeping your coffee hot but also some of them are so good at keeping it hot that you feel like you're gonna lose layers of your lip skin every single time you take a sip and it just never cools down and I feel like you need a happy medium and I think this is it I think this is it I really really like it and I've just gotten into the habit now of like I'll get myself a coffee like when I'm out and about like I'm quite partial to getting a free one from Waitrose because well it's free um, but um i like stick it in the washing machine it's washing machine safe by the way um not the washing machine the dishwasher don't put it in the washing machine i, I definitely don't you don't need to worry you stick it in the dishwasher or you can hand wash it and then i stick it back under our buggy ready for the next day and it's just a routine that i've like to I've, I've gotten into but one thing i will say does anyone have a suggestion for one of these cups that are good for iced coffees as in like it's like an iced coffee Thing with a straw because I used to have one and it just the seal goes really easily and it starts to leak and I just I'm trying to find one that that I can use in the summer so if you've if you've seen one you've got a recommendation for me let me know because I don't really like drinking iced coffee like this because I get like sensitive teeth sometimes and I'd rather have it through a straw rambled long enough about a coffee cup so that's the first thing and then I think what I'm going to go on to is beauty I have everything laid out here so the first thing in the beauty world I owe to you because I mentioned using Batiste again for the first time in ages uh, in my last favourite video but I said the only thing that I didn't like was that it made me look a bit like Cruella de Vil, like badgery, you know, like dark and white stripes and you like you massage in and you brush it through but sometimes it doesn't always work out very well. Um, so a few people commented and said try the one for brunettes and I'm so glad that you did because when I've seen this on the shelves I thought it was a load of, you know, like a, a gimmicky thing and I thought what if it's actually not very good or like the formula's a bit different but I have been loving it. Um, I'm on like, I probably need to wash my hair tomorrow to be fair but it's looking quite good and it's all down to this so thank you for suggesting that i can confirm that if you are also a darker haired lady this is the one it's very very good and then the next hair item some of you are going to watch this now and you're going to be like they have been a thing for ages why did you not know about them and i did know about them but i just thought like as a bubble they were ugly now if you're watching from elsewhere like a bubble is like a, a hair tie so typically I would use one of these like I always have them on my wrist even though it's not very good for circulation and all of that but you know when you see people on like Instagram and stuff and they're like morning and like I've just woken up and they've got like gorgeous hair and the hair's like silky and smooth and it's still straight and if it's curly it's still got a curl in it whereas I look like I've been dr like dragged through a hedge backwards and I've just gotten to the point where I thought maybe I'm just not one of those people that has like swishy morning hair um, and then the other day I was 
I'm getting ready at night and I couldn't find any of my bubbles anywhere. I've bought some new ones since and um, I borrowed this off Daisy. Now I've had these before but I bought them, I think I got like a pack from Primark years ago and I was like actually I don't like the way they look in my hair, like I feel like they look really like childlike and they do but I wore it in bed and I took it out in the morning and I had that silky soft hair because it did hold my hair in place and it didn't give me the kink and it was like a life changing moment so if you have children steal these off as well try it because you won't wake up with a kink or at least I didn't anyway life changing these things I actually need to buy myself some because this is out of here like Elsa frozen set of hair clips that I actually bought for Christmas and I shouldn't really be stealing it but um, I can definitely recommend and then this one has just snuck in as a little favourite uh, sorry about the lighting change by the way because it's looking miserable outside but um, my favourite highlighter typically is a stupidly expensive Charlotte Tilbury one um, in the Filmstar Bronze and Glow uh, Duo like palette. Fantastic. But what I find is that the um, contour runs out way quicker than the highlighter. I feel like the contour should be bigger and the highlighter smaller. But then once the contour is like gone, it like smashes, like it all breaks apart. And then um, the highlighters start to do the same thing and it's beautiful, but I really begrudge buying it again because of that. Um, so that had like, it died to death and I wanted to try something new that had like a similar sort of like glow to it. And I know that people recommend the Becca ones, but I wasn't willing to fork out a load of money on it without trying it first. But I noticed that they did like mini ones. So this is Becca's Opal and I don't know if you can see but it's like a lovely champagne shade I actually have it on today and I just think it's really pretty I've really really been enjoying using it and I've only had it for about a week or so but you know when just something's like oh I like you you can stick around um so I can definitely recommend that and I do like it when you can try like miniature versions of products because some are very expensive and it's just nice to sort of try before you commit if you know what I mean and then my final beauty favorite I almost forgot about this because it's fallen on the floor it is this now this is the it cosmetic cc cream cc plus cream I have the shade medium and I don't know if you can tell from the packaging but this is particularly battered I've had it a fair while I've had it for about I would say over a year but it's not caused any breakouts so I'm going to use it because it's not cheap um I bought this when the craze started everybody and their dog was going on about this and I thought right well I obviously need it because I am an absolute sheep so I went and bought it and um it was when I think it was towards the end of the summer after I'd had Stan and I was postpartum I was slightly confused about everything um and my skin was all over the place you know when you're pregnant I personally have really nice skin when I'm pregnant and then when I've had my baby all my hair falls out and my skin goes gross and goes all dry and then I get spots and then nothing looks right and then I don't like my body anymore and it's just the postpartum curse. So when I tried this didn't get on with it I'm gonna be honest with you like I did not get on with it um but I was going through my drawers the other day and just I like to do a sort of through now and again so get rid of anything that like I no longer use or might be like too old um and just like you know take pieces of like random paper out of my drawer that I've stuffed in there that needs to go that kind of thing and I picked this up and I thought oh, I really really begrudge getting rid of this or like passing it on to someone because I really want to see like whether or not I can make it work for me and I tried it and I just loved it. And then that same day when I picked nursery, I want to pick nursery up, when I picked Daisy up from nursery, um, one of the workers was there and she was like, oh, you look lovely. And I was like, oh, she was like, yeah, you look really glowy. And I was like, keep talking, keep telling me this because most of the time I don't look lovely and glowy. Um, so I've really been enjoying using it. I think the coverage is really nice. And for some reason it's working for me at the moment. I'm aware now that this video looks like it's night time. I know it's not night time, it's gone really, really dark. I'm really sorry about that. I might, might just do a little bit that little bit better so the next favorites that I want to go on to are like random ones and then I've got a few sort of entertainmenty ones to share with you as well the first favorite are these and I'm aware that I shouldn't be eating sweeties if I want to reduce the size of my bottom but these are really good I discovered these recently this may be the second or third pack I think third pack that has entered our household rest assured I haven't eaten them all on my own I promise you but they are Percy Pig fizzy 
fizzy, fi like you know like fat but like PH, fizzy chews and they're really good, they're like little mini piggies and they're fizzy and they're tasty and they're all different flavours, I think there's like apple, there's a pink flavour, an orangey flavour but they're really really nice and I love a fizzy sweet and um, it was actually Daisy that encouraged me to pick these up when we were in m and like a couple of weeks back and I'm really really glad that she did because we did enjoy them and Bill's enjoyed them and Stan's enjoyed them so if you're a fizzy sweet fan these are new pick them up next time you're in there and then that is like the only feedy favourite I think I've got actually yeah it is um but then one thing that I just really wanted to share this is just depends on whether or not you're an organisey person or not but I bought, well I had some to do lists that I got, I can't remember where they were from, but it was like a little, it was very similar to this, so it was like a, a list and every day I would write myself a to do list on it and I would pull it off when it was done and I would tick everything off and the satisfaction I got from ticking things off and having myself a bit more organised was just, it was amazing, but I just feel like I enjoy that method much more than having a diary or a planner because the diary or a planner is bulky like if I'm out and about and I want to rip a piece of these off because I'm going for like you know I'm doing chores or I'm picking up some bits from the shops I can just easily grab it and rip it off and go I don't need to take the whole thing with me and I quite like having a fresh sheet every day like you know you start in a fresh do you know what I mean and um I just bought this selection I think it was two different orders from Amazon the first one is today's plan so you can like say what date it is and circle like the day like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then you've got top priority tasks you've got next tasks to do you've got a section for like reminders like throughout the day and then you've got like a bit for notes at the bottom I don't know if you can see that there but that is uh, I love it I think it's great especially for work and stuff because um I do a lot of work in advance so I've been working loads throughout January and February but you might not see the fruits of my labour so to speak until like March. It just depends on like when things are being scheduled in but you have to stay organised because you'll go back and forth with the brand and you'll do amends and stuff and that's not always easy to do especially when you're looking after kids and that kind of thing as well. Um, but then the other bits that I've got as well, this is like a simple to-do list so that's what I've been doing today so filming this video, filming another video doing like a grocery order i've got laundry to put away i've got emails to do edit videos thumbnails that kind of thing and then this is like a little mini one that says don't forget and i quite like this for like my shopping lists if i need to take that out with me you know like after the school run i'll jot a few things down that i need and then maybe like go to the post office or whatever it is that i might need to do so they just i just feel like it works for me so i thought i would share them because i'm really really feeling that at the moment and then I'm going to get my phone up now because um, then I won't forget what I want to tell you. <laughs> so um, things that we have been loving like watch wise like you know telly. The first one I've got to mention Love Island. It's not like a recommendation as such because everybody knows what Love Island is I think but um, I've actually really enjoyed it but then after we've watched our Love Island because we watched the night before because we recorded it because we're too old to stay up late the real the real deal the live one um but then we watch an episode of the stranger i think which is on netflix and i saw the trailer for this before christmas and i tagged mark in it on facebook and we were like oh yes must watch it and then everyone seems to be watching it at the moment and it is really good i mean i'm still on the fence a little bit because i haven't worked out what the hell is going on but it, you do get quite gripped by it you want to like work out what the deal is um but you you can see that on Netflix and one thing that we quite like about it is because it's all been filmed round our way so to speak like Manchester and surrounding areas so it's quite cool to like try and look out and see if we spot anywhere that we recognise um, but it's really good it's like a, a thrillery type thing I guess um, I won't even go any more into it than that have a google have a look on Netflix tonight when you Netflix in and chill in and uh, see what you think and then another thing that we've really enjoyed watching I don't know how much longer this is on for um, but you can probably find it on catch up and stuff I think it's love it or list it with Kirsty and Phil um, the reason why we really enjoyed watching this and we have previously right, when it's been on before is that it's been on like a couple of times while we've been trying to do our whole extension journey like planning it or like getting everything sorted and it's really interesting to see how people make use of the space and you do kind of get tips along the way because um, obviously initially when we got to the point where we were thinking of extending we didn't know whether we were going to like extend or move 
<clears throat> and then also like once we did commit to extending it was just looking at different ways that you can use your space because you can go out one way or you can go up the other way and like little tips I just thought it was like really useful um, and plus I love housey stuff anyway so if you haven't watched that before it's cracking and then I think that is everything in terms of program so the final thing that I want to show you that I'm just going to move my fizzy pigs out of the way is a book now I believe this book has somewhat got people like I don't know I think it's been quite divisive I think it's been quite a marmite book um Oprah has featured it on her like book club uh, I wasn't privy to that I personally am very much of the opinion that when it comes to books I just like to go at them with an open mind like I don't really want to hear too much about what other people have said until I've read it because I don't want that to influence my thoughts so to speak um but it, it just depends it depends on you doesn't it because obviously you don't want to start a book and then waste like hours of your life reading it to find out the ending was an absolute like drip do you um but I picked this up I just saw it on Amazon and it is American Dirt by Janine Cummins and I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. It's it's not something that I've ever read about before. Um, I think obviously from from a political perspective maybe um, it's quite a challenging book because it looks at um, immigration and trying to cross the Mexican border and drug cartels and it probably gives a quite it's a very very narrow-minded negative view of Mexico um in general but I think that it's just got a theme and that's what it follows it doesn't really look into like any other culture or anything like that it's just more about like a woman and her son trying to escape and it was just emotional I was just really gripped by reading it and I really enjoyed it personally I, I just like the way it was written I like the character development I like the fact that it wasn't all fun and games and it wasn't a cliched story because you do find sometimes like with these tales you can kind of like watch them write themselves a bit because you know at the end it's all going to be happy news and they're going to get where they want to go kind of thing whereas this was very up and down and I had like I felt sick a lot of the time reading it but in a kind of in a good way if that makes sense if there is even a good way to feel sick and um if you're into your books and you particularly like like thrillers or you know challenging books rather than like i love a bit of chick click don't get me wrong but this is the kind of book that really does it for me um i just thought it was fantastic it's been well recommended by stephen king john grisham uh, tracy chevalier and don winslow and um yeah but that is the end of this very 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 chatty favorites video um i just i love filming these really really enjoy them so i hope that you enjoyed it too and um have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're up to I am very shortly going to go on the school run and I'm guessing it's probably going to rain on me. But then I've got parents evening which is always lovely. So yeah, have a lovely day and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye.